you want to build an application that will help your processes run smoothly and make your business more efficient, but don't have a huge budget? Do you want to make sure your application can be easily updated if your business need change? Do you want to give your users engaging and beautiful applications that will make them more productive? If so, keep watching this video. Hello, it's Vinir from BPM Tips. In this video, I present you Bonita BPM answering the seven questions. What is it? Who is behind it? When should you consider it? How does it work? Why is it interesting? And where can you learn more? So, let's start with the first one. What is it? First of all, it is a BPMS tool. So, a software allowing you to automate your processes on the basis of a process models. It is an open source solution with a free community edition and a paid subscription packages with more features and support. Who is behind it? It is created and supported by French company Bointasoft with many partner companies all around the world implementing the tool. When should you consider Bonita? First, as for BPMS, obviously you can use it when you want to make your process executable by building easy to create, modify and maintain applications. Second case is when you need to empower your business users. If you want to allow your users to do more thanks to engaging living applications. Last but not least, if you want to make sure that your IT team is more productive. Guys from Bonita Soft State, the developers are our heroes and they aim to help your IT team easily create BPM applications, do it faster and maintain them more easily. Now the fun part, how does it work? So, you can create or import a process, you can manage your business data, you can integrate with other applications, and you build a visual compelling user interface. Now I will switch to a tool. Here you can see Bonita user interface. As you may expect from a BPMS tool, Bonita allows you to create your business process models with BPMN, but you can also import diagrams for other BPMN compliant tools so that your business team can document the processes and then pass it to the IT team for automation with Bonita. Bonita comes with many useful resources like videos, documentation and examples. I will use one of the example projects. It will be expense report. I'll click it and as you can see this is a very simple BPMN diagram presenting the process of expense handling. So the employee files expense report, then it is reviewed by a manager, and if it is not accepted, employee needs to update the report. Here I will show you a few nice features of Bonita. Firstly, in order to make your process executable, you need to specify the responsible people. For this purpose, use the actors. They can be assigned to lanes or to tasks. Here you can see that my process contains only one actor, employee. This is for the purpose of quick demonstrations, but of course I could do it much more sophisticated. Then I can do the assignment on the lane and on the task level. Those actors can be afterwards nicely mapped to organizational units, roles and specific people. Additionally, Bonita allows you to easily work with the responsibility assignments. So, for example, you can use the filters to make sure that only manager of a specific user will be able to 
review the report or you can implement the 4i principle. Second important element is business data. You can define your business data with Bonita easily and specify how is it handled in your process. Bonita 7 introduces a new concept called contracts. It allows you to specify what kind of data needs to appear in a given process step and whether there are any specific rules. For example here you can see what kind of data is necessary to initiate the process. So here you have the contract. As you can see it is complex since it contains various attributes. So it has some summary and for each of the items it has a label where you can specify exactly what was it and the cost of this item. For each of them you can also add some specific constraints specifying for example that the value cannot be greater than a given amount. What is also very nice and powerful is the feature of connectors. You can use them to connect to external systems, to external applications, for example to send an email, to update in CRM or to add some entry in Google Calendar. They can be used as inputs or outputs. Of course you can also create your own connectors using Java programming. The last element that I want to present to you is the UI designer for building visually compelling user interfaces. Here I switch from the contract to the instantiation form. As you can see I already have the form ready and if I click edit we will see. In order to create engaging purse applications that your employees will actually want to use, you need to make sure that they are easily accessible also for mobile users and nice looking. Bonita allows you to create the forms and user interfaces very very easily. You can create them on your own also using many available Twitter bootstrap templates which guarantee the modern look and feel and responsiveness of your user interface. You can also create them on your own. By default the form gets populated with the data that you specified. So for example here you have the entries that I had in the data. But of course you can add your own elements to adjust it to your needs. For example you can add, add branding elements. The forms can also be auto-generated which helps you run the proof of concept sessions much easier and much faster. After your process, data definition and forms are done, you can start a process to show how it would look like for your end users. Now I will switch back to a tool and present to you how does it work. So here I am ready and I click run. Now you can see the instantiation form that we just presented in the UI designer. Now let's imagine that a user wants to create an expense report. He adds necessary information and adds costs and it is ready to submit. And what happened now? Here you can see the default look of the Bonita portal. Of course it can be also adapted to the needs of specific company. Here we can see task list of an employee. You can see that the expense report is awaiting his review. Of course he can add comments but he can also claim the task. Now what he can see is the data that the user entered and he can either accept or reject as you could see in the process definition. He can also add comments. Now why is it interesting? You already had a chance to see Bonita in action so most probably you already have the first impression. So I'll provide you only a quick overview. Firstly, it allows you to easily create and maintain engaging application with modern look and feel. Secondly, you can use it with other tools thanks to the BPMN import and export. To help you get your results faster, you can use the library of the connectors 
which allow you to well connect to other external systems. Then this is not a no-code solution so you can easily extend your application using Java programming and it also comes with the REST APIs allowing you to access your data more easily. Last but not least, you can start for free using Bointa Community Edition to see how does it work for you. And where can you learn more? In order to download Bointa, go to bointasoft.com. If you want to see additional content for this video, go to bpmtips.com slash Bonita. Also, make sure to sign up not to miss 